Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 9 that is dictionaries. I will be explaining the dictionary data types in detail. So basically to represent a group of objects as a key value pair, we are using dictionaries. So for example, you, have, you must have seen the phone book dictionaries wherein there is a name and then we have phone numbers, right? So similar way, these are the key column value pairs which are inside opening and closing um, curly braces we called it as dictionaries here duplicate keys are not allowed but values can be duplicate for example I have a dictionary 1 wherein the value is 1 sorry key is 1 with the value of 1 comma 2 as value of 2 comma 3 value of 3 so now I cannot use one more key with the same value of 1 with different values, right? So basically, I can use this value again. The values can be duplicated in another key value pair, but key cannot be repeated again in a dictionary, right? So it will be instead of 1, I should do 4. And but I can use this 2 twice. So that is how we are allowed to have a different or duplicate values but not the keys heterogeneous objects are allowed just like how I have seen like digits and strings or characters together then insertion order is not preserved here also just like sit we cannot do indexing and slicing but instead of that whenever you wanted to call something you just have to call its key instead of its index dictionaries are mutable dynamic and indexing and slicing is not applicable Mutable means from outside you can just do um, all of the other values assignments to the dictionaries by uh, just giving its any value to the key. So in C++ and Java dictionaries are also known as maps whereas in Perl and Ruby it is known as hash. So these are the dictionaries in Python. This is one of the most important topic that is discussed inside your interview. Now how to create them similar way. We have seen in sets, this is a definition of dictionary. Now, uh, for example, you are just adding the values. How to add values? First one is D of 100, that is key with value of Python. So this is an example one. So now D of similar, same dictionary with another value of 10 having value is. Or same dictionary with value EC add key 200. So whenever I am printing all dictionary D, I can have 100 Python 10 is 200 EC. So 100 Python 10 is 200 EC. This will be outputted. Similar way, for example, opening and closing, opening and closing bracket inside that directly I can write key value pairs by comma separated and print the dictionaries. Or stuff 200 means this particular key's value will be printed. D of 200 means this particular dictionary's key value will be printed. So this is one dictionary, this is another dictionary. This way uh, we can define and call the dictionaries. Now how to delete the elements from dictionary? You just can use DEL keyword with dictionary of 200. So this key's value will be deleted from the dictionary. See, so this key value pair is 200 is, right? So 200 is is complete key value pair is deleted from the dictionary. Second one may be to remove all entries, we can use clear method and similar way if at all uh, total element or total dictionary you wanted to delete, you can just use delete and dictionary name. Here we were talking about dictionary's key but here we are talking about complete dictionary. Now when you try to print the dictionary, you will get an error saying dictionary is not defined because you have a dictionary, this is a definition that we have seen, this way dictionaries are created. Now to update the dictionaries that we have seen directly by changing uh, the key and its value, we can update it. For example, I am now for example I wanted to add one more key value pair. Just you have to say for this key what is the value and it will be added similar with another value. So now instead of three key value pairs, we will have five key value pairs. To delete, we have seen completely dictionary will be deleted and here only one of the element will be deleted. Now, uh, to remove all entries, clear is something which will clear out the dictionary and empty dictionary will be there. Now, to delete, here's no difference between clear and 
delete is that it will still be there as an empty dictionary but here the location it will not be there inside your memory so that's why the dictionary will not be defined this name error will be there so now what are the different functions just like we have seen in list strings tuples uh, and sets so one of the function is length it will tell the number of items in the dictionary items is nothing but key value pair so one key value pair is one item similar way to remove all elements we have used this particular clear method now to print one of the key value pair or to get the values we have seen by just telling what is the key your value will be there another method is you can use get and put to method as well so whenever i am seeing get of 100 means python will be printed similar way if at all i wanted to pop the element inside list it was popping out last element inside set it was randomly popping out but inside dictionary you have to tell the key which you need to delete right and then the last one will be pop items so it will completely pop out any random key value from the dictionary right so after that there is uh, one more way to access the key values of the dictionary by using for loop you can see because we know inside items we have keys and values right so keys will be there and values will be there so um, let me go back to our powerpoint presentation for example we have a different keys right with values as one two values as three three values as a four for example this is our dictionary now we have all key value pairs what are different keys? 1, 2, 3. What are different values? 1, 3 and 4. So we can apply for loop on keys separately. We can apply for loop on values as well. So that's why to access I am doing for i comma v in dictionary dot items. Right? So this is the way we are just accessing i and v. You can do give any name to these elements. Uh, but this is something I am using i comma v in dictionary dot items print i print v c so all these elements separate v will be printed right so I am just printing them out the keys and values since it has only single values left and then similar way we can copy the dictionary just like we have copied the sets and to update the dictionary uh, we can create one of the empty dictionary and dictionary 3 dot update similar way extend was there so we have to update dictionary one that means all the elements from dictionary one will be there to dictionary three so that will be combined together so that is it um, from the dictionaries we will see uh, in the next chapter thank you